Hi guys, it's Blackie from Shaman's Forge Bushcraft again. Well, spring is sprung. I've come out in my personal space today to clear out a new camping area for the summer. My winter camping areas and my summer camping areas are usually different just due to terrain and etc. And I don't like to stay in one place that long. I want to keep moving and keeping it new and fresh and keep from you know scarring the land. So today I'm out clearing a new area for hammock camping. And that would be something that I'll start dealing with here pretty soon. Probably in my next video, I'll bring out my hammock and also my camping rig for spring and summer and show you what I carry. But today I want to talk about stoves for just a second because I do carry a little stove with me. Now this is one of the Swiss Trangia military type stoves like you've seen before. And in a second, I'll zoom up close and show it to you in more detail. But, of course, I'm always going to prefer a fire whenever possible. But there's sometimes when the fire is just not practical. And stopping beside the trail, heating up a canteen on a squaw fire is a very quick way to keep moving, etc. But suppose that there's two or three of us together. I and mean, we're in a car or a truck or we're doing a job out here or we're fishing or canoeing, or hiking, or etc. And the time factor is part of it. Plus the fact, a stove like this, and this is my favorite little stove for one or two, possibly three people, has some distinct advantages. For example, let's say that me, you, and another friend are out camping. And we're doing mostly fishing, and we just want some quick lunch. I want a can of chili. You want uh, a hot ham sandwich, and this person wants soup. Well, here's what I do. I carry along a supply of quart Ziploc freezer black bags. What I do is I open up the bag, and I dump my can of chili into it, squeeze all the air out, zip it up. You put your hot roast beef stuff into, squeeze the air out. He puts his soup in and squeezes out. Then we put it into the large pot. Fill it up with water to the top. Put it on this stove put the lid on, let it boil. It'll come to boil in less than 10 minutes, only about six, seven, eight minutes. I let it boil for five minutes. Then I take it off the heat and let it steep. In a total of 15 minutes, when we pull it out of there due to immersion heating, I have hot chili, you have hot roast beef, he has hot soup, and we got a clean pot. There's nothing to clean up. We can eat straight out of the bag or whatever. Plus, there's enough hot water there to make hot chocolate or coffee or tea. Simple and effective, right? That's the way I like it. Now, I'm going to move the camera in closer and show you a few modifications I've done. Hope you enjoy it. 